Okay, welcome to this video where I'll explain you how we can uh, use Azure DevOps CI CD pipelines to build and deploy ASP.NET website on Azure Virtual Machine. I already have created a new empty Visual Studio, sorry, Azure DevOps project. And as you can see on my screen, my DevOps project contains empty Git repository. There is nothing in this Git repository. I need to make my first commit there. Second two, second thing, I already have created a virtual machine here. This is my Azure uh, virtual machine, Windows Server 2019 virtual machine. I will just make sure that IIS is installed in this virtual machine by running a PowerShell script. This is a requirement actually. You need to have, you need to have IIS installed for installation of uh, or deployment of ASP.NET project. So this single PowerShell command will do that. Meanwhile, let's see how we can deploy a project here. For that, I'll go to my Visual Studio. I have this sample ASP.NET 4 project. Uh, this uses uh, .NET Framework 4.0. What I will do, I will just add this project to a Git repository first. By the way, this project is already added to a local Git repository. Let us just see if we can just uh, make the changes here. Uh, wait a second. You can obviously use uh, this toolbar or, or this toolbox, Team Explorer toolbox to push this repository contains to Azure repos directly from here. If you have linked or if you have logged in into your Visual Studio with the same account or with the same email ID as your Azure DevOps account. Right now, I'm using exact same, uh, exact same account at both the places. In Visual Studio, actually, I'm using uh, two of my accounts. Okay, so if it is already there, you can easily add it from here from this toolbox. Let's say, for example, this is the account which I have logged in into DevOps. This is the account I have used to log in. Just wait. Toolbox will load all my projects right here. Once the project is added, uh, once it shows the project, here is the project name, sample site is the project name basically. Uh, let's click on advanced button. Advanced button. Here I will select the project that I have created there. Wait a second, what is the project name? My project name is VM Deploy Demo. Okay, fine. So let's go to VM Deploy Demo here. Here it is VM Deploy Demo. And my repository name is also VM Deploy Demo. So I'm just going to publish this source code into this particular repository using this Team Explorer toolbox. It was possible because I have logged in with the same Hotmail account which I'm using for my DevOps subscription. Publishing has already started and it's done. What I can do now, I can just go and refresh this particular uh, Azure repo screen and you can see my sample project has now appeared here. This is my solution file. This is the ASP.NET website. You can see the web config file right here and uh, everything else is right there already. Yeah, this is the assembly info. Looks like the recent changes I have done to this particular project are, however, not, uh, you can say, uploaded there. No worries, I'll do that. Let's go to the changes. I have added recently a default HTML page. So, home page, sorry, home page created. So, I'll just commit this change and let me sync this change with my remote repository. Let's see if there is anything to fetch. Nothing? Fine. Then let's continue with push operation. With this push operation, the changes will be now reflected in here. Let's refresh it one more time. Yes, now the changes are reflected here. I have got default ASPX page and default ASPX.cs. Everything is now ready. All the contents are now uploaded there or submitted there. Meanwhile, my virtual machine also has everything in place. You will see my virtual machine now has 
uh, IIS server installed in it. That's good. We might need to RDP into this machine to actually proceed with the setup. Okay, so I will RDP into it later on. Right now, this is my project. Let's begin with the pipeline creation. I'll quickly go to the pipeline. I'll create a new Azure pipeline for this project. It's using Azure repo. This is the repository name. And what I'm actually trying to deploy here is ASP.NET website. So let's use ASP.NET. This is the Azure pipeline, the default pipeline that uses YAML syntax. Everything is good, but we just have to add one extra task here. The task which is not generally included here is a task to publish the build artifacts. So let us add a task to build or add publish artifact. Let's say I will just give it a name. Publish the website artifact. Then we need to provide the inputs and under inputs we need to provide the artifact name. So I can just say it is sample site and then we need to provide the uh, path to publish. In path to publish, I'm just going to say it's build dot, uh, what was the normal file name? I guess it is artifact staging directory from where it has to actually collect it. You can see it here, the, the default MS build argument, if you can see here, uh, this particular build step is going to package your application at this location, build dot artifact staging directory. So you will have to actually pick your artifact from the same directory and it will actually create a zip file sample site dot zip at the end of this uh, build pipeline. So I guess my build pipeline is now ready and I should now just click save and run. Please remember in Azure repos, it is possible to add the deployment step right here in the same pipeline. But I prefer having a separate build and separate deploy pipelines. So let's hit save and close and let's wait for the pipeline to be created just waiting for the pipeline i can see my pipeline has already started building it will take some time because it depends on availability of a build agent right now for this project i'm using microsoft provided build agent microsoft hosted build agent Looks like build agent has been allocated and my project is actually going through checkout process now. So, okay, done. Checkout is done. Now it's installing all the required NuGet packages. My project doesn't actually have any dependencies as of now. But your real life project will have several dependencies and uh, NuGet uh, command will take time depending upon how many dependencies it has to resolve and download. looks like uh, repository registration is done successfully there are no dependencies as such in this project so it should not take more than a minute okay done it has now started the visual studio build process this is where ms build a microsoft build a tool a command line tool that will use visual studio libraries and runtime to actually build this project Okay, it will compile all your ASP.NET pages and everything. And once everything is compiled, uh, you will you will get the final artifact ready. This is the log, by the way. You can see the log here. Let's wait for this to complete. Now my pipeline has done everything. It has done the publish task also. It has created uh, this sample site file container which contains everything. Let's just go back and let's see what artifact it has created. It has, pub it has one publish artifact called sample site and you will see it contains the readme file, the command uh, or script to actually deploy it on IIS server and this is sample site.zip which actually contains my sample project that's fine i guess now next part is the release pipeline how do i deploy to azure vm 
Now for release pipeline, what I am going to do is I will go to the pipelines and I'll go to releases. Let's create a new release pipeline, which is responsible for continuous delivery and deployment. Very first thing I'm going to do here in release pipeline, I'm going to select the pipeline template for virtual machine. Remember, there is also an option available for virtual machine scale set deployment, a very interesting feature that will allow you to deploy your application to number of virtual machines or deploy to VM scale set, VMSS instead of independent VM. Right now, we are not doing that. We are doing it for independent VM. So use this option. IIS website deployment. This allows you to deploy it on virtual machine. So select that. Very first thing, I'll go to add artifact here. I need to collect a build artifact. And for build artifact, I'm going to use this particular build, build pipeline. As per my configuration here, uh, only the latest build artifact will be used for the deployment. Let's add this. Also, I'm going to use this lightning symbol, which will enable to enable continuous delivery and deployment. What does it mean? Every time a new build is created, deployment will automatically start. And there is a similar trigger here. After the release is created, start the deployment immediately. Let's see the job. Here, you first of all need a deployment group. Now, right now, I have not created any deployment group. Deployment group basically is a logical unit which contains all the local virtual machines, Azure virtual machines, bare metal systems, whatsoever are there. So let's do one thing. Let's create the deployment group. Now, when I click on the setting button, the gear icon, it will take me on a new tab. This is basically a new tab. Your previous screen is here. So let me add a new deployment group here. I'll call it as your VM, as your VM for the deployment. Let's hit the create button. Now you just need to select the operating system type. You have got two options, Windows and Linux. In case if you choose Windows, this is the PowerShell script. Make sure that you use a checkbox, use personal access token for authentication. Do not worry, you do not have to generate any token as such token will be generated and placed inside the script for you. Let's copy the script to a clipboard and what I would recommend instead of directly copying and pasting it, first copy and paste it to your local notepad. There is one small problem that I have discovered earlier. When you copy and paste it in a small notepad window, we are using notepad here as a clipboard, you will notice somewhere they have used Unicode double quotes, special double quotes, which will create a problem to me later on when I run the script inside my Azure VM. So let's replace those double quotes with a standard double quote symbol. I guess rest of the place, all the double quote symbols and everything is problem, no, not a problem. Let's copy the modified script again. Now I'm going to run the script now on my Azure VM. Oh, oh, sorry. What I just have to do is now, I'll just go to my VM. Let's connect it using RDP. Download the RDP file and open it directly with Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection tool. Connect. Here it will ask me for user ID and password. So let's use a different account. My username is Mahindra and this is my password. And let's log in. Oh, 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 looks like I wrote a wrong password for this time. After you enter correct password, it will ask you for a self sign uh, certificate, which is used for encrypting this remote desktop connection. Just accept the connection uh, signing request, certificate request. And now you, sh you should be inside your remote desktop. By default on this Windows machine, if you look, if you launch PowerShell window, that PowerShell will be by default running in elevated or administrator mode. So kind of easy here. Here it is. My remote desktop. Azure VM remote desktop. Here I'll just launch my uh, 
पावर शेल विंडोज पावर शेल एंड वंस विंडोज पावर शेल इज लॉन्च आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू यू नो काइंड ऑफ पेस्ट द स्क्रिप्ट दैट विल रजिस्टर दिस पर्टिकुलर मशीन एज अ टेम्पररी एजेंट लेट्स सी वॉट हैपन्स नाउ द स्क्रिप्ट एग्जीक्यूशन हेज स्टार्टेड ऑलरेडी इट विल टेक कपल ऑफ सेकेंड्स फॉर द स्क्रिप्ट टू रन यू विल नोटिस द स्क्रिप्ट ऑलरेडी इंक्लूड्स द ऑथेंटिकेशन टोकन द पर्सनल एक्सेस टोकन वॉज ऑलरेडी इंक्लूडेड देर दिस पर्सनल एक्सेस टोकन विल एक्सपायर इन कपल ऑफ मिनिट्स ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर यू हैव टू डू इट इमीजिएटली डोंट वेट मोर देन टेन और फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स As far as I know, it will uh, expire after thirty to sixty minutes. Anyways, I can see here as your pipeline has started already registering this particular server. What we are doing right now is installing the Azure Pipeline agent. Okay, enter the deployment tags. I don't want any deployment tag right now. Account to use. Use the current system account. I just press enter for all the configurations here. Starting immediately. Press enter to know. Just keep pressing enter for all those prompts except the default values. And the server is now registered. How do I know the server is successfully registered there? If you go back to your release pipeline and just refresh this particular panel here, you will see your Azure VM deployment group will now appear here. Uh, have you entered any tags no then don't write anything all the other values should be as as it is okay allow script to access authentication token this is actually not required as of now but it's okay to select this option right now my script doesn't involve any kind of tokens i don't need any kind of tokens right now as your web app manage this is the web app manage uh i'm just going to add it as a application user or you can use it as a windows application i will use pass through and uh, ii is finding it will be just listening on port 80 and it will be registered as a default website yeah that's fine all the settings are good here it is it will just take the zip file and deploy it that's fine i guess this is the default option we don't don't have to make any changes there okay fine the default template is good and fine let me just click the save button here and after we save this i'll create a new release manually later you don't have to run it manually okay later every time you make changes to the source code it should automatically trigger the build and deploy Let's have a look at the release pipeline here. It has already created the release, but it's waiting for me to hit the deploy button manually. So let me hit the deploy button, deploy, and let's wait. You can view the logs. Okay, the job has not yet started, so just wait for a few minutes now. Meanwhile, I'll just note down what I did. The steps were number one. add project to as your repos git okay number 2 i created a new yaml pipeline or a new pipeline in yaml format added a step to publish the build artifact okay this will ensure that in next release pipeline you are able to collect the application which was built by your build pipeline what i did next i created a new release pipeline and inside this release pipeline i have chosen a template a release pipeline template called iis deployment template okay now the very first thing in your release pipeline that you have to do is you will have to add the server groups okay now in server group i have added my vm as your vm 
Now what you actually have to do is when you go to the server groups, what you do is you copy the PowerShell script which is generated over there, copy and paste it inside your target VM, okay, target machine and it's done. Now my pipeline is running. You will see here it has already connected to uh, Azure Build Agent. It is downloading the artifact and now it is going for IIS Web App Manage. Yes, now this step is going to run on my Azure VA. Let's wait. Okay, it looks like the deployment step has already finished and it has already done the deployment of this website. Okay, that's great. So let's do one thing. I'll, I'll just try to go to this particular VM's public IP address and let's try to access it from here. Looks like it is still showing me the default page uh, on IIS. Somehow the page is not built for this particular target environment. I'll just get back into the RDP session here and let's see if it has done the deployment correctly. I will show you where the project will be here. Should be in my C drive, inet pub, www root, and this is the default aspx I was referring to. This is the default IIS start pages, and inside the bin directory there is sample site dot dll. Dll files are right there. Looks like this project actually doesn't contain those HTML pages. Uh, sorry, those uh, modified pages basically. DEFAULT default.aspx giving me a page not found error. Okay, let's try to just rebuild it. What I will do is I'll just make some changes to my project right here. This was my default page. And then the changes, I will commit them now. Home page, sorry, editing. Push these changes to the repository, to the remote repository. And then push them back every time you do a push make sure that you first do a pull operation to make sure that your contents are in sync let me just check if my pipeline has already triggered a new build and to do that let me just go back to the VM deploy here and what I will do I'll go to the pipeline and I'll try to check if pipeline has already get triggered Yes, my pipeline has already started and you will see pipeline is already in progress. It's already doing the build job right now. Already started with the build job. Okay. Project is getting built now. Visual Studio build has already started. Okay.
okay and it has produced one build artifact because i have set up the continuous release pipeline let's go to the release pipeline and see if it has already created a new release a new release release 2 has been already created there and it has already started the deployment okay so deployment is already in progress let's see azure web app deploy has already started it has done the deployment now yes let us try to visit the website again there is some problem with dotnet framework the, the framework that i have chosen probably is the very old version okay that's it this will take your application to azure vm maybe i'll just go to the vm and check if it has the required version of dotnet framework server manager and add rules next role based next and let us add web server inside web server in application development i'm going to add asp.net asp.net 4 by default this will add asp.net 4.7 but i guess 4.7 is already backward compatible with asp.net 4 my project is using asp.net 4 next and install you need to actually pre-configure your target virtual machine to support the dotnet framework uh, for your project installation will just take uh, another minute and probably you should restart your machine after you install any new component into it okay already started you can even close this window installation will not be interrupted even if you close the window okay it will keep on running the installation in background It's working now so originally when I deployed my application I deployed it I deployed an application with ASP.NET 4 but unfortunately for my uh, target server was not actually compatible or it didn't have ASP 4.x installed and that's why the page was not loading but now my application is working just fine just as a final quick check I'll do one thing I'll go and make a small change here style is equal to and then background color tl okay i just applied some small css and let me just you know kind of push these changes now to my repository let's commit the changes i have just added a background color okay commit all and let's sync this push now after the changes are pushed my pipeline will automatically get triggered so what i will do now is let's go back to the pipeline page here and let's wait for it to create a new release it will obviously run the build and then it will run the release let's see if build has already started yeah i can see a new build has already started and you will see here the same comment added a background right so build has already started it will take another minute and immediately after build is successfully uh, completed it will start or it will launch the release pipeline as well this is example of ci and cd continuous integration and continuous deployment okay let's see how far it has gone through like it's now in vs build stage 
building the project. Depending upon size of your project, it will take some time to build your project. So running. Okay. And as soon as this particular pipeline is done its job, Azure DevOps will go to release pipeline because of that release trigger. And here release pipeline has already started. In case if you want to see where exactly I said that trigger, here is the trigger, continuous deployment trigger. This will make sure that every time this build artifact changes, this release pipeline is automatically launched. And this lightning symbol here, pre-deployment condition, will make sure that after this build artifact is ready and release is created, it will trigger the deployment as well. Okay. Now let's see if this is already done. I'll go back to the pipeline. I can see release number three has been created just a couple of seconds back. If I now go back to my virtual machine here and refresh, you will see the background color is applied. That's it. This is how you deploy your application, ASP.NET application from source to Azure VM. Thank you.